Yeah, let's see if I can, um... I guess I'm gonna gather some of this gold. We're just gonna dump it in the corner. Did it... Did it go? I We've dropped it. I'll just assume it did what it was supposed to. So I'm just gonna buff a couple of these. I guess we're not really generating mana here. I should do that. Let's get an Arcanum down. We've already got spot f spots for our demons, so... Fortunately, need a whole heck of a lot of boxes to make this. I guess maybe the snots just aren't aren't doing the work. Okay. Yeah, because these these guys are working on traps too. That's gonna slow me down. Well, I could uh, ugh. I could go out and do some invasions. I'll get a pair of imps. We've got two iron bounds. Keep your hands to yourself. I'll get the torture chamber. We don't have enough for the uh, imp yet. Okay. Evil will so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the gate. If we're lucky, we can poison the water supply. Because if I can. If I can take that out quick, that's one upgrade. Or not upgrade, uh, one objective Talia done. had reached the first water supply and began a mystical ritual to contaminate it. If by mystical ritual you mean that I simply slowly dribble this stuff into the water, then you are absolutely correct. A nearby colony of shrimps was somewhat disturbed by the presence of the unrighteous evil's army. Or they might have just been hungry, whatever. Anyways, they set out to remedy the problem. Go up there and kill those things. It's lobster and shrimp soup tonight. Those are not shrimps. Just saying. Those are very much, uh, those are crafts. Not shrimps. There are okay. enemies in your dungeon. Uh, oh, good. They're taking the long way around. Yeah, we're just going to get this spring uh, dealt with, and then we'll run back into the dungeon and deal with it. Let's see. Is the game actually set to be wrong? Shouldn't be set to be wrong. Well, that's okay. All right. Yep. Excellent. That should provide some gastric distress. Oh, for some walking dead. Mm -hmm. First water supply had been contaminated. Two others were still waiting for a visit from Talia. Okay, so we gotta get out of here before the water rises. Yeah, I, I think they wrote that before they actually made this section. And, uh, maybe didn't exactly do it right. Well, that's fine. Okay, so let's go back in here. Let's watch these guys. We don't have that many new traps in, but we got a couple. Mainly, I'm just gonna use the Thrasher on them. Actually, while well, we're at it, uh, I'm gonna increase the damage done by both of these. There's one guard left. It's payday. Okay, uh, while we're at it, let's get the succubus. My prison's right here. I guess let's get a, uh, I'm gonna just put the torture chamber down here. Did you know you can hold a charge, uh, spell to charge it by several magnitudes? I did Enemies not. have entered the dungeon.
I think somebody had mentioned you could charge spells, but I never quitely, uh, I, I never quite reacted to that. Also, we have two s songs layered on top of each other again. This game is fun, but it has got some weird rough edges. Just crammed in here and there. Oh, the game is wrong about being shrimps, not lobsters. Okay. I I thought uh, it was one of those where I hadn't set, it, uh, set the stream title properly and it was going to be a problem. Okay, well... Let's, um... Oh, we never we never built the Arcanum Crystals. So let's get that. Uh, let's see. So we're probably... ...safe to adventure for a little while. Let's see, do we send them at the portal? No, let's send them out this entrance. It's the farthest north. We got some time. Everything good must die. But yeah, hopefully my uh, my imps can get me some mana back because this is one of the few times we actually have not had a whole lot. Oh yeah, we've already uh, recruited a dude. Nice. And stay down. Okay. What are we doing up here? A lot of cra um Probably don't want to do that. Two and a half minutes. But yeah, it's it's pricey uh, to charge those spells, and I don't actually have a whole lot of mana this time around. Other um other dungeons tend to be more generous than this one. But this is definitely one of the, the stingier runs I've ever done. Okay, so let's improve Talia twice. Now she can start summoning dudes. Uh, let's see. Let's get it so we can have extra zombies. Let's see. Yeah, next up, increasing uh, the... Ironbound armor by, yeah, a third. That'd probably make him nice and beefy for a while. Um, do I have enough for another portal? Yeah, I'm gonna put a portal on that evil isle. Oh, I see. That's the darkness passing. That's not water coming in. I'm like, uh, oh, run, and then no, it's, it's not that at all. Okay. If I can deal with some of these side camps and whatnots, uh, I'll come back for the uh, I'll come back for the springs. Oh, there's another one back there. It's a fairly tough-looking group, actually. Well, then again, I've got a fairly tough set of goons now. Yeah, this shouldn't be this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, really wish there was a way to to speed up the Arcanum. I guess I could get even more imps. I mean, there's the spell that speeds up the Arcanum, but I don't really want that. I don't really have the uh, the funds for it. Okay, so yeah, these guys look to be doing really well. Oh, hi. Ambush party. Was not exactly expecting an ambush party uh, around here. Ow. Oh, that's okay. I there were probably an an invasion group headed for my dungeon. Nope, those are crabs. I still want crabs to invade my dungeon. I think that would be the funniest shit ever. Chances of it happening are extremely unlikely, but it'd be funny. Okay, so we do have a cannon tower here. And a spawner and a couple other things. Okay, let's go for the cannon tower first. The, uh... This is a giant mess.
Did that charge it as well as I hoped it would? I have no idea. This is kind of a awkward fight. Well. Get the armor research. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Okay, there goes the there goes the cannon tower. Natalia's doing all right. Let's see. Can I cast this again? Okay, so you... It doesn't look like you can charge Meteor Shower. <laughs> but you can charge... Yeah, you can charge the unit boost. Uh, for to cover more ground. Okay. Well, we're taking some hits, but it's working. It does. You just have to have the mana for it. Oh, it does. Yeah, I guess I, I really didn't have the mana for anything. Oh, uh, that's fine. This is why I've been keeping demons down in the dungeon. So I can actually cast something. Should maybe maybe get my hands on the ogre or the pit fiend. Probably the ogre. A little bit, a uh, little bit more durable. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. This is cheap enough to keep kind of using. Veteran is painful. Oh, it's because we got a novice and a priestess. Start going for their healers. Because the veteran is hurty, but take out the healers first. Oh, thanks for the resub, Firestone. I'm pretty bad at recognizing people for subbing and resubbing and donations. I wish I was more um, responsive on that sort of thing. It's kind of a side a side effect of me putting this on YouTube. I'm like, do I, do I, do I do this between videos? Do I do this during videos? Uh, I never really know. There's never really, like, a right way to do it. Just gotta do it, like, here and there, really. Okay, there's probably... Oh, wait, there might not actually be a group in that building. Uh, in, your in that fort. Ah, that's a small group. I probably don't have to bring these guys back. Yeah, because we lured them out when we uh, when we were attacking that tower. Should be more good at it. Sorry, my uh, my ability to angler uh, is iffy at best. Hello, welcome to my dungeon. I guess I don't have any tanks, but that's okay. We might send them back through the portal. Oh. It's actually a slightly scarier group than I was expecting. Well, that's fine. Okay, so we've maxed that out. Do we do undead? I'll do undead next, though I should probably work on bolstering my army. But the extra life force on... Uh, the extra life force on my undead will probably make them a fair bit more useful. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not so bad. And this really is kind of my ace team up here, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay. She gets really expensive. It does increase her life energy and... Other stuff, though. Uh, can I just pop a portal here? I'll do that. Okay. Uh, so, Elf Assassin... Those guys. He's busy. She's dead. I'm just going to send these guys at the portal. That'll help. 
Because chances are we're going to get attacked again here. What's up with this? Another water I have no idea. Excellent. They'll never know what hit them. I mean, literally, I hope that stuff either makes them blind and deaf or turns them into zombies. <laughs> I don't care. Chaos and destruction. <laughs> Wait, is that like a Wi-Fi signal? But the local heroes were not quite as stupid no. as those elsewhere and suspected that something was wrong. A group immediately set out to protect the water. Damn environmentalists. What a bunch of pains in the neck. Go stop them! Rip out their fingernails, smear them with rancid bacon fat. That just initial salvo always makes the game lag. Oh, and it was, uh... It, ooh, there's another one. It coincided with the, um... It coincided with the, uh, the spawning of the tides. Wow, that zombie got nuked. Uh, nuked into oblivion and then some. It's payday. Oh, that's okay. okay. Did we, we did I get the... I that entire bottle of virus stuff into there, so I guess that's it. It's not like it's an exact science. On to number three. I never did get the, uh, the more powerful liches upgrade, did I? Well, uh, hmm. The, what can I do everything here is good. We're maxed on evilness points. Life is good. Yeah, we've got to get. Uh, we've got to expand our libraries. I got to get the uh, the upgrade that makes it so my my librarian can hold extra scrolls. Ha! Ah. While we're at it, I'll get a door. I'm just gonna hire one goblin. He'll work on stuff. Okay, well, we've got a little bit before the waters come. Two and a half minutes. I think that's enough. Oh, we don't have any beer. Hold on. That's a problem that we should probably rectify sooner than later. Cause, yeah, no beer and low bedrooms, and we're gonna we're gonna run into issues. Cause yeah, they are they are on strike. Luckily, they won't just quit the army. Okay. It'd be bad if they just, uh, if they just ditched on me. It's like, no beer, we're gone. I always hated games, uh, that would do that. You'd have, like, an elite unit, and then suddenly you didn't meet their needs in there anymore, and they're just gone. It's like, really? That's how this game rolls? That's how that, how some games roll. Okay, so three beer, beer stills there is probably good enough. Okay, and bigger bedrooms. I'm really disappointed the dungeon never got attacked by crabs. There's so much potential for cra crab, crab battle. Crab battle! No? Shame. Darn shame, really. These missions are getting longer, mainly just because uh, it's getting more punishing running around uh, without, like, a, an army to keep me afloat. And no beer. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I'll get that. Let's... What?
I guess I never got enough study booths out here. Uh, can't even get that. Dang. Sounds like Wander is crabby tonight. Yee. Yeah. Just a little. A little crabby. Get a bit packish. Okay, so that'll give us the next lecture hall. If that gets built. Uh, while we're here, I'm gonna speed this up. And let's uh, produce a door for it. Okay, there we go. We now have the next librarian. Uh, so we get that. And I'm gonna make it so the, uh, the little squirts can teleport. Could get a pit fiend. Yeah, let's get a pit fiend. Thousand gold. Not so bad. Wonder if I can get an orc and a pit fiend. That's a question. Pricey question, though. Okay, well, these guys are no longer going to be, um. Uh, Why did I get that upgrade? I don't know. These guys are no longer going to be slowed down here. That's the main thing I need to need to worry about. Because, yeah, if half my army was on strike because of low beer problems, then... Uh... The jubilant evil scouts had discovered something that looked suspiciously like a ritual site. Legend has it that one had to sacrifice a number of creatures to the tide in order to create something powerful and evil. Right! So, time to play Dunk the Creature! Everyone line up and prepare to drown by numbers! Ah, it says here that they have to be skeletons. You have to sacrifice skeletons to the tide. Oh, right. Okay. Everyone except the skeletons get back to work. Droning has been cancelled for now. At least for everyone except the skeletons. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Uh, do I have any more skeletons in here? Where are my other skeletons? I don't know. Unstoppable. There are Oops. enemies in your dungeon. Oh, there's the last one. Well, I got two minutes. I'm gonna wait for that for a second. I guess I'll move the uh, I'll move the portal over here now. Okay. Send the skeletons back out. I don't know how many skeletons I'm supposed to send. Oh, do we only have uh, three skeletons per batch? I didn't realize that. Just put these guys down here. I know I have traps, but this is fine. Okay. So what else do we have? We've got the pleasure chambers. I guess uh, next up would actually just be increasing the amount of dudes we can have in our army. Or go seeing if I can have a... Uh, uh, seeing if I can roll a uh, uh, pit fiend and an ogre at the same time, because that could be interesting too. Let's see. So this is looking fairly good. Groups are good. I guess, uh, yeah, let's start moving for the ogre. It'll take a little while. Fiendish pit ogre. That'd be cool. I, I always liked that in, uh, Dungeons and Dragons 3rd edition. Uh, a little off topic, but, uh, D&D had, uh, a really cool system for, like, creature subtypes and, like, extra bonus, uh, racial modifiers. And you could do some, like, cool stuff. Like, half dragons were absurd. Yeah, templates. Uh, and they 
got rid of them in in fifth edition, from what I can tell, which is sad. Huh, water's green now. One of the cannon fodder burning evil's creatures disappeared into the tide. As the water receded, another creature was revealed. A lich, a mighty undead mage, had emerged from the water to willingly join the contented evil's army. Huh, that's kind of ridiculous, actually. Well, let's get the powerful Lich upgrade. Let's get the arena upgrade. Let's get an arena somewhere. I don't know how much space we need for an arena. This will probably be good enough. Okay, so door there, door there. We're gonna make a big old arena. Admittedly, we're almost done with the mission, but uh, yeah, liches for skeletons is an absurdly good trade-off. Especially because my uh, my skeletons come fairly upgraded. Okay, is there really anything else I could do? I could upgrade my demons, but I'm not using that. Not really. Oh, right. I should... I really should have, uh... Just gotten another upgrade on, um... On... Headed, like, headed for that ogre. Oh, well. I mean, it's not a huge issue. Let's see, how long do we got? Three minutes? That's probably fine. Let's just send the whole I'm of my forces the queen out. Of evil. And just, uh, just destroy as fast as possible. How do we get up there? Oh, I gotta go in through the front gate. Baby. So we have to destroy these guys. Oh, hey, there's the portal thingy. Though I will admit the whole, like, templates and bloodlines thing. Like, with the... You know, maybe I should actually just run a uh, a D and D campaign at some point. Uh, third edition, every almost everything goes, and just see what happens. Take that. It'd have to be like a semi short campaign, just because of the amount of like insane power creep that could could and would happen. Well, this was heavy losses. Holy shit. Okay, I should probably expand this. Payday. Not that I think it really matters, but I should probably do it just in case. Uh, we lost a fair number of dudes in there. Yeah, pretty much every skeleton, skeletal archer, and zombie went down in the first salvo, but... Does that really surprise people that much? It shouldn't. I like the undead in this game, but they do not have durability. Okay, and it does look like uh, Succubi revived themselves, but Pit Fiends might not. Okay, uh, well, we're here. So now we've got an ogre. Can I hire an ogre? I can hire an ogre. This one, I don't have to feed so much beer. Do you want dead? Okay, so you can get one of every titan. Which is kind of absurd, actually. That's really good. Yeah, one, one rule that they introduced in Unearthed Arcana in 3rd edition that I really liked was called... Um, Gestalt characters? Uh, where you could have two classes. Uh... At once, which got really, really nonsensical really fast. Um, 
but, you know, absolutely overpowered. I just always wanted to do a campaign where people got to pick two classes and just... Not anything goes, but... Well. Oh, what happens when the water moves in? Does this ship go up or does it just get flooded? Okay, it does go up. That's good. As far as I can tell, it's just a... A flat, water-textured plane. Well, I summoned an orc a little bit late in the game here. But that's okay. You can multi-class on 5e. That's not the same thing, though. A multi-classing means, like, two levels in, uh... Two levels in fighter and three, three in wizard. Gestalt means, uh, your character picks two classes and then has every feature or the best of said features. So if you were a monk, uh, if you were a monk wizard, you'd have... Some shrimp seemed anything but enthusiastic about somebody hanging around their home and set out to do something about it. So, like, if you were a monk wizard, you'd have a D8 hit die, max saves, uh, all the unarmed and unarmed armored bonuses, and so on and so forth. It got really stupid really fast, and it was hard to balance, but... It'd be cool to see what people could or would do uh, in that kind of, like, campaign setting. Obviously, you'd have to really scale up the difficulty, probably. Or make it a no-combat... Uh, make it some kind of, like, no-combat situation. I do need a bigger graveyard. Though, at this point, I think it doesn't matter so much. I th we're about to win this mission. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. The last water supply had been contaminated. Excellent work. Now that all the water supplies had been contaminated, the satisfied Evil's army could move into the interior, towards the capital of the not-quite-so-free cities. Alphas. Huh? That was it for here? didn't bring us anything at all, did it? I don't see any effects. Wait for it. Pipes and pumps carried the water into the not-quite-so-free cities. That's where the effects would be felt. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? I have to talk to Elric. I'm a little disgruntled that we haven't run into that idiot yet. Still not heard anything from your good side? Th the nothing. But she's about as useful as bunions anyway, right? Let's just hope she stays wherever she is. All right. How many more missions do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I got about six missions left before I'm done with this game. So, the six, Titan seven of hours-ish. We'll see. I'll do one more, and then I think we'll switch games. Okay, so what Titan do we got? The Titan of Alphas. Once the waters of the not-quite-so-free cities have been contaminated, the oppressive Evil's army set out to destroy the city's last landmark. The Bronze Titan of Alphas.